In this video, we're going to solve equations that have rational exponents. And so, if we look at this first question, we see we have the rational exponent, and the rational just means a fraction, but we have a fractional exponent of 3 halves. What we're going to do first is we're going to isolate the term that has that fractional exponent. And so, we're going to treat this just like a normal linear equation. I'm going to add 19 to both sides, and then we have 2x to the 3 halves equals whatever that is. 54, and then I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. Once again, I'm trying to isolate that term. So we have x raised to the 3 halves power equals 54 divided by 2, which is 27. Now, if this was just a squared, we would square root it, right? If this was just a cube, we would cube root it. But we have it raised to the 3 halves power, and our new trick here is how do we undo that exponent? Well, one rule that we should know is that when we raise a power to another power, we multiply the exponents. So if I had 3 squared raised to the 4th, we'd do 3 to the 8th. We would multiply those exponents. So the other thing, the other thing that I need to know is what a multi what's called a multiplicative inverse. It's the idea that if I have 1 4th and I multiply it by its reciprocal, I get 1 as the answer. If I have 2 sevenths, and I multiply it by its reciprocal, I get 1 as the answer. And so the idea here is that I can turn that exponent into a 1 by raising both sides of the equation to the 2 thirds power. Anything I do to one side, I do to the other. On this left side, we have, we raise a power to a power, so it's 3 halves times 2 thirds. That ends up being 6 over 6, which is 1. And x to the first is just x. Over here, we have 27 raised to the 2 thirds. And so you might say, well, that doesn't help me at all. I don't know what 27 to the 2 thirds is. Well, you could punch it in your calculator, or we could rewrite it in radical form. That's the same thing as the cube root of 27 squared. Okay? You could write it as, as 27 squared and then take the cube root of it, but I think it makes the number simpler to take the cube root of 27 first, and then square it. The cube root of 27 is what number do you multiply it by itself three times to get 27? And that's 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So then, I just copy down my exponent, and we know that 3 squared is 9. So I say all that to say your solution is x equals 9. Now in this problem, we're going to play the same game. I'm going to first start by isolating that uh, term or that value in parentheses that has the exponent. So um, to start, I'm going to add that 3 to both sides, and that's 32. And then I need to undo this exponent. I, I would like that exponent to not exist anymore, basically. And we learned on the last slide that I can do that by raising both sides of the equation to the 4 fifths power. Okay. Over here on this left side of the equation, when I raise a power to a power, I multiply. So that would be an exponent of 20 over 20, which is really just an exponent of 1. And if I have an exponent of 1, I don't really have to write it. And then over here, we get 32 to the 4 fifths. And as we learned on the last slide, we can rewrite that as the fourth power, or, or the, the fifth root of 32 raised to the fourth power. And so I can do some simplifying over here. If I'm trying to find the fifth root of 32, you could do that in your calculator, or you're looking for what number times itself five times gives you 32, and that's going to be a 2, because 2 to the 5th is 32. And then I just bring down my exponent, and then we copy down what's left. So we have 8 minus 2x equals 2 to the 4th. That means 8 minus 2x equals 16, because 2 to the 4th power is 16. I'm going to subtract 8 from each side, and then I'm going to divide by negative 2 on each side, and we should get that x equals negative 4.